this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm here still in Tarrytown. In the last episode, I was able to help out Hudson's daughter, who has gone off in her hot air balloon all the way over to Gerudo Town, which I haven't been to yet. It's, uh, I guess, is it, is it there? I think, yeah, that looks like it there, you know. And, uh, you know, I don't even think they will even let me in. Maybe they'll, like, let me in as an honourable member. But normally men aren't allowed in there. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to go in. But yeah, the good news is because I freed up Hudson, um, he's now able to begin work again. And it uh, looks like he's going to help out... Was it Kilton? Colton? Colton. Colton. Oh, no. Kil no, it is Kilton. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kilton... Basically, he really likes monsters. And he thinks monsters get a, a bad rep. And I mean, kind of fair enough. They do keep attacking everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he wants to build something, I guess, to, like, honour them or to teach people about them. I'm not sure. But now Hudson's free, uh, I guess we could uh, find out. What I'm trying to say is about Coblin's most distinguishing feature is its nose, which you'll find squished upon its face like loof. Its ears, on the other hand, are quite foopy and its horns go zwift. Hmm, that description of yours... Can't say I'm getting the picture. Oh. Ah, hello. I appreciate you helping me with Madison. That was a rough patch there, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. I admit, hearing about the sand shroud that Gerudo town is dealing with, well, it had me pretty worried. But she's safe with her Gerudo escort. I'm sure they'll take good oh. care of her. Ronson is back to working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. Oh, sorry. If you don't watch out, I'll start talking your ear off again. You have been a good listener. Thanks for that. This is Kilton. He moved to Tarrytown the other day. And he's asked me to make a sculpture of a monster for him. Sorry, sorry. I'm an awful describer of things. I would draw... Oh, I'm gonna have to get a picture one, innit? I would draw you a detailed picture of a Bokoblin if I could. But there is no art to be found in the bones on my body. But fret not! I, Kilton, will describe the monster to you with more enthusiasm and as much zest. Surely that will help. Uh, well, it would be better if I had a detailed picture to refer to. Oh yeah, I've already got one. I took a picture of one that was like frozen in ice, didn't I? I've also got the mask as well. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this picture here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm even, like, pointing it. Ta-da! That's exactly it! That's the boat coplin I'm looking for! Ah. Oh. Now, this is a good picture. Let me use it for reference and I can make the sculpture no problem. M -m may we borrow it? Uh, sure. <clears throat> Great. Just leave it to me and I'll get it made. Son and done. <laughs> Quick and quality. Blink and we're done. That's why everyone chooses Hudson Corporation! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow! I thought it was going to be like a big stony thing. It just it just looks like a Bokoblin. Son and done, as promised. Ha! Ho! Look at this! It's the very monster sculpture I've been longing for! It was easy! <laughs> now, Pritius, please, would you pick the perfect spot to display this sculpture on the stage over yonder? I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> I've got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility. <laughs> Not my kind of thing. <laughs> ah, but, but, but who will arrange it on the stage for me? Oh, whoever. I wonder. Right, come on, let's grab this thing then. Uh, I feel like I want something... I reckon we're going to do more of these, right? So maybe we'll do this one. Like, on the edge, as if it's trying to run. Wait, can I, like... <laughs> can, I, can I do it, like, upside down? And there. No, I can <laughs> Look at this thing. I'm kind of tempted to just attach... What would happen if I just attached a rocket to this thing? And just... <laughs> I mean, it sounds really, really mean. But I mean, surely the game will have something. Surely there'll be a backup. I mean, I don't like monsters. I know he does. But that doesn't mean... Oh, no. I, got... I can't attach anything to it. I mean, I could do a rocket on a panel and like launch it up that way. But I don't think that uh, I don't think that would work. Right? Do I have a, a shield that I can just 
shove the rocket on so I'm not wasting time. Could I fu could I fuse <laughs> this to anything? I don't think I could. Right, I'll be good. I'll just arrange it right. I want it to go there. There we go. I did it. I've got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility. Not my thing. Who will arrange it? Look, I found a nice spot for it. Ah, what did you say? I can make it look like it's running away from like a bigger monster. Oh, such artistry. It's everything I ever hoped it would be. And so realistic too. It's as if my nose holes might catch a whiff of a monster scent at any moment. It's true. Even I could mistake that sculpture for a living, breathing monster. Yes, now we must show it to every eyeball in the village. Hear ye, hear ye. Come look see. I present to you the famed Bo Goblin. Do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place. Ma. Ah, when you look at it like this, it is rather cute. <laughs> Ahem, the sight has stolen your eyes. Now, give me your ears, all of them. Without further ado, this adorable, cuddlerable monster is called a Bokoblin. They make house and home throughout Hyrule, and are perhaps the monster you've rubbed shoulder bones with the most. With their large, foopy ears and cute, gloofy snooties, one can't help but want to give them a tight squeeze. Sadly, their social skills are quite, um, stunted, and it's best to look elsewhere for a friendly embrace. Oh, goodness, yes, I do feel like giving it a hug all of a sudden. Look her and learn. Then you won't hate, understand what you fear, and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always await. <laughs> thank you, and thank you once more. You've not only helped my younger brother, but me too. Please take this as a token of my thankfulness. It's a concoction of my own making, you might say. You're a great artist, worthy of renown. And because of you, I have taken the first step towards making my dream come true. I have long desired to collect sculptures of monsters from around the world and display them for all the eyeballs to see. I hope this will help shine a light on those magnificent creatures and the many wonderful ways about them. Hmm, everyone in the village seemed to like it, so I could probably make more. <gasps> Haru! Really? In that case, I implore you to make a horoblin next. Horoblins have big hands like whoosh and a coat that's quite like <gasps> wow. They also enjoy swinging from the ceiling. Hmm, your description. No, still don't know what it looks like. Ah, oh, sorry, so sorry. I'm an awful describer of things. I would love to draw you a detailed picture of a hoblin if I could, but there's no art to be found in the bones of my body. <gasps> but fret not. Ah, Kilton, we'll describe the monster to you with much fervor, many times over. Surely that will help. Uh, well, I mean, it would be better if I had a detailed picture to look at. I might have- do I have one of them all- do I have one of them already? I feel like I'm- I've not taken many pictures of monsters, but I feel like I might have done a, a horrible already. Have I? I have! Oh, a dramatic shot with Sidon just destroying it. Ha! That's it! That's the horoblin I adore! Oh, now this is a good picture. Is it really? You can't really see it. Let me use this for reference and I can make the sculpture. No problem. Remember, may I borrow it? Of course. Right, blah, 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 blah. Sun and art. I have to do the song again. <sighs> Rick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why everyone chooses Hudson Corporation. All right, I need to remember when out and about facing all the googlies to take more pictures of them just so I'm ready. Oh my God, I didn't, oh, I didn't realize it does the same pose as the one that you have in the picture. Oh my god, that has just blown my mind. So it looks so like the picture must- when you take a picture, it must save the data of the position it's in and then they can create it? Out of all of the ways that this game has blown my mind, and there have been many, that might have been it. Oh my god, I need to take better pictures. I don't just need the pictures of them, I need pictures of them in funny positions! Son and done, as promised. Hi yeah! Why this monster sculpture? It's more impressive than I dreamed possible. Oh, it was nothing. 
Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. I know he can't do that. Oh, I'll, do, I'll do it. I'll do it. I know we've done this song and dance. Oh my God, so it's falling back. I wonder if I could do it. So it's like falling off this cliff. Wait, let me just see. Oh yeah, I can move the other one. So I can still oh, like span it around then. Yeah, so I can keep rearranging them. So this isn't permanent. Now let's leave that guy there. And let's do this guy as if he's about to fall off this, uh, fall off this cliff, shall we? Is he going to balance there? <laughs> just about just about i can't believe that it saves it in that position oh that is so oh, that is so i love that so much i'm so happy with that and so this one was in the position of the one that was frozen in the ice as well that is so cool right okay let, let, let's just okay i'm not going to read for all this because i know it's going to be the same kind of thing let's just find out what the the next monster is going to be and then I can try and track one down. And then I, I gotta just think about what's the funnier. Like, why? Well, I, I guess I just want it like them all ragdolling would be funny. Like, I wanna blow them up with a bomb flower and then like take a picture midair and I just have them all like completely crazy. I think that's like the, the best that I could do. Or maybe if I electrocute them and then they're like in the middle of being shocked could be a funny one. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna skip through this because I think it's gonna be basically the same as before. Oh, they wanted to give me, uh, they wanted to give me something, but my pockets are full. You know what, rather than just eating to waste something, I think they want to give me an elixir. I could probably just sell something down here. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, I don't need to talk. I don't need to talk. Uh, the only merchant to sell monster ed extract. Oh, to be fair, I very rarely use elixirs, to be fair, so I don't care too much. Right, what's, um, I mean, I could sell the egg. Just because it's not very good. Um, well, is there anything else here that I won't need? Gloom resistance. All well, this stuff is quite good. I got quite a lot. I got quite a lot of stamina things that I probably don't need. So let's sell that as well, and then let's sell this just because it's worth loads of rupees. <laughs> It'd be good to get some more rupees. There we go. Right, I have cleared out some room, and now I should be able to to get my reward. And then we should find out what monster we're going to do next. Oh, I'm, this is a cool mission. I'm starting to see now why everyone wanted me to go here. And I haven't even done my, um, done anything with my house yet. Uh, sorry, I got some sneaky soup or something. So I guess that's something made using monster extract. Right, let's, uh, get through this and then we'll see what monster we need next. Oh, so, um, I would love if I could see, oh, they want to see a picture of Mattison. But never mind me. Oh, I wonder so I should take a picture of Madison as well. I wonder if that's part of the, the mission. Right. Uh, wonderful sculpture to life, extreme, pretty inspired. Do you any any money? I'll be happy. Oh, so I can just show any monster picture that I have. Ooh, this is even better. I can choose. So which ones? So I could do the little choo-choo. I want one that's in a funny position though. I don't really have any in any funny position. Okay, right. You know what? I'm gonna. I, I won't bother doing any more now. But now I know I can take pictures of any monsters and then send them here. I am rather excited about that. But yeah, something else I'm excited about is getting my own house. Time for a dream home. It sure is. Welcome to Hudson Construction. With the mat, with medicine out of our little adventure, it looks like we can resume working on dream homes. I'm a little uneasy, though. There's some kind of massive sand shroud in Gerudo Desert right now, after all. But there's nothing I can do about that. I'll just keep her home safe until she returns. And in the meantime, I need to buckle down and get to work. Hudson Construction's whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic like a kitchen or a fully furnished room or something more. We're here for you. Maybe you want to add a nice space to display some of your favourite pictures or a place to care for your beloved horse. But that's nothing compared to what's really important and what all of our customers truly enjoy, which is... The opportunity to assemble all these individual rooms on their own. You pick the rooms you want and then you can put them together the way you've always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. We even give a little commem commemorative gift to celebrate starting down the path to dream home ownership. You know, our whole family is in your debt for all the help with Madison. If you're interested in a dream home, I'll set you up with a discount. It's my way of saying Sasquo. You know... Thank you. Uh, yes, dream home, please. 
You're interested in a dream home, that's great. There is a vacant plot in a prime location, and I'm sure you'd like it. Ordinarily, the land alone would cost you 3,000 rupees, but as a special just for you, I can offer you a land room combination deal for only 1,500 rupees. What do you say? I say... I can't afford it <laughs> because I have I need 100 more rupees. Right, let's go sell some things. I'm going to have no money again. It wasn't that long ago since I was feeling all rich and had loads of stuff and then I had to buy a bunch of diamonds and things. Right, okay. Uh, I could probably sell maybe some uh, some ores, some materials here. Uh let's maybe sell a couple of these. Because that would get me 240. I don't want to go over the top. Then is there any other meal? You know what? I don't. I never really sneak, and I feel a bit mad because it was a present. But I can sell that. I could also specifically cook some things that I know would be valuable to sell. Like all of these stamina things, I don't really need anymore because my stamina is so high. It's so rare that I actually run out of it. So maybe I'll keep like one of them that actually boosts my stamina quite a lot. So that one doesn't boost it that much. It'd be nice just to have one backup in case I end up in a really bad situation. So yeah, maybe I'll keep that and sell this. And now I have more than enough rupees. And I, Because I don't want to go out with no rupees either. Because if I do run out into something else that I need to like spend a bit of money in, I like to, to have it. And I just like the sound of all the rupees jangling around in my pocket. Right, so I'm assuming this isn't going to be the cost for everything. Is this just for the land? But it seems like I might in some way be able to like design it myself so interested that's great the plot of blah 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 normally cost so is going to cost 1500 which i can now just about afford we're glad to have you ever as a customer we can get started right away as i mentioned we already have a prime plot of land set aside for you it's the bit southeast of here and it has an excellent view oh is it not in tarrytown is it in tarrytown oh it's not oh i wanted to be in the town it could be a little tough to spot it due to the sun, but there's a shrine right over in that direction, okay? Another member of our staff will meet you on the hill to the left of the shrine. Speak to him for more details. I mean, that's good that there's a shrine there, so I'll be able to teleport back quick. I hope you enjoy building your ideal dream home. Right. I am a little bit upset that we are not going to get to live in Tarrytown, because that has been a little bit of a personal dream of mine, but... We're very close to it and right above it, so I'm assuming that I could very easily glide down to here from my house. So maybe we're, we'll go do that shrine first, just so we have it done. Uh, and then we'll go and uh, speak to the, the person about uh, how we're going to end up building my brand new custom-made home. Right, I managed to, to get a lift on one of the, uh, the falling debris. It does seem like there's loads of more things falling from the, the sky around here. It's weird though, because there aren't like loads of massive sky islands in this area, to be fair. I mean, so there's, ah, so there's that. But that's the uh, the water temple, isn't it? Then there's just these few little ones around here. But I, I am yet to do those and I would like to, to do them soon. I will make sure I tick them off when I'm doing everything uh, in this area. And oh, ooh, 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 I nearly, nearly did not get my cloud slider out in time. That nearly ended very badly. But luckily, I was able to, to just pop it out in the uh, the last second uh, in order to, to save myself. And I also got to remember, uh, they did say to, to go back to the racetrack to have a, another go at that uh, as well in the, the future. So I have that to, to look forward as well. Uh, right, looks like we've got another combat shrine. Proving around vehicles. I've been much more enjoying these over the combat ones in Breath of the Wild. I used to always be disappointed when there's a combat shrines. And with these, I still would overall prefer a puzzly one. But I certainly couldn't consider myself disappointed. Right, are these going to have anything in? Oh no, do they, are, are these just meant to be for like cover? Yeah, I guess they have nothing in. Well, let's just try and take out this one. And then I can hopefully use their horn. To make myself a, a better weapon. But I don't really have much very good at the moment. It also said about vehicles. Oh god, they oh, don't they all know where I am now? Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in my car and get out of here. Drive away! Go, 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 go! Oh, 
Oh, there's a there's a better car up here actually. Right, let's just smash into this car. <laughs> and they're right. Switch car, switch car, switch car. This is a weird way to do a shrine. Go, 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 go! Just running them all over. Oh, there's a flying one up here, you know. Right, let's see if we can take out these guys. <laughs> and then I can maybe ascend up. Uh, if I go to fuse. Oh no, fuse, 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 fuse. There we go. I've, I've fused this now. So this is gonna do some pretty good damage. Oh, these guys are all approaching. Let's grab these good. Oh no, no, is that like a an electricity thing? Right, let's make my way up here. Right, I've got my I've got myself to, to safety here. Ah, so there's that there. I think one of them had like an electricity thing, but I don't know if I could steal that. Let's just go and fly this and just see if we can crash into to some of the other ones, right? Fly down. I'm gonna go after you guy! Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is excellent. And because I'm in a shrine. I have infinite energy as well. Oh, let's see if I can get through all of these. Right, go down, 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 down. I need to go down and right. Oh, that was a tough one, actually. I didn't do much damage against them. I also wasn't going that fast, which was the uh, the other problem. I, I want to attach, like, a lightning thing or something on the, the front of my vehicle. Right, what do we have here? Ah, yes. This is what I was after. One of these things there. Oh, what are they going for? No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Right, let's get, let's take them out. Oh, there's like there's a beam thing here. So let's just, um, if I can, pick this up. Oh, oh, oh no, it's not going, it's not going. Uh, so I've got to set it going. Oh, wait, I missed it, I missed it. Oh, if I just shoot it, it might just start blasting them. There we go. <laughs> it started blasting them already. Then I can pick it up and then try and uh, just get it to point towards them. Oh, I can't even see what's going on now. Right, there we go, there we go. They took them out. There's another enemy there. I can just kind of hold it and just take them out like that. Yeah, I want to put that on the uh, the front of a, of a vehicle is my goal. Tell you what, let's... Uh, oh, actually, let's turn it off for now for safety. Let's put it on that flying vehicle, shall we? I mean, to be honest, these enemies are pretty easy. I could just run at them with, like, the weapons I could make now and take them out much easier. So just in case you're there thinking, like, no, it'd be much easier just to kill them. I want to have some fun and I want to shoot them with my laser plane. Oh, it's a bit, bit wonky. I don't trust my aim with it being straight, so let's definitely uh, get this the right way around. This would probably be easier with a car, I will be honest. But, I think it might be more fun with the, uh, with the plane. Oh, no, 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 don't crash, don't crash! Oh, I need just like a nice, straight area in order to get my, my first takeoff. So there we go, this is straight enough. Get some speed, right, we have liftoff. So right, there's an enemy down here. Am I gonna be able to hit it while flying? Oh, nearly! Nearly, nearly. Right, I might have to go and like, do another pass. This is as like, sharp right as I can turn. And oh, there we go, I got a good hit on them there. Right, let's uh, let's go get a bit more height now. And then maybe I can like, look down and like, shoot down at them. While I'm flying. I don't know if my flying thing's gonna end up disappearing, because these gliders do often end up doing that. Right, okay. Going sharp down and to the right. Let's even get it with the laser. Oh, yes, I hit it! I hit it with the laser! Didn't do the most damage in the world, but I did- I was able to hit it. There we go! I managed to get it! Right, so let's- let's switch out and let's do it on the, uh, on the car instead, shall we? Because I think that's going to be a, a little bit easier for me to do. And oh no, they're coming! They're coming! They're coming! Right, I think it's wonky. Oh no, it's okay, it's okay! Right, drive, drive, drive! Go on, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on! Right, let's go. And oh, this is a little bit easier to turn. Let's see if I can uh, just... Oh, no, 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 I crashed into the wall. This is good, actually, because I don't even need to be close to it. All I need to do is get to a position where I'm facing it. Oh, I tried to shoot an arrow at me, the cheeky thing. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it seems like crashing into them is much more effective than actually using the laser. But using the laser is more fun. Right, let's go and turn. Oh, there we go. I managed to get it. It's hard because it drives forward by itself. I kind of wish I could just stay still and turn it. <laughs> but there we go. I was able to take them all out. And I probably did like 80% of the, the damage using the, the vehicles. That was good fun. Okay then. So where are... Are you the person I need to speak to about my new home? It looks like you are. Hello. You must be Link. I am Granson of Hudson Construction. Rodson told me about you. I'm here to answer all of your home building questions. In fact, why don't I get started with an overview of the process? First, if I could direct your attention this way. Ah. This is the plot of land you purchased. If you place the rooms we sell here, well, ah. 
You're on your way to building a one-of-the-kind dream home. Let's see. It looks like your contract includes two rooms. Excellent. Two rooms to get you started. Good choice. One moment, please. Nah. These are the rooms. The one on the left is a, fo a foyer, and the one on the right is a bedroom. They are covered with nets to protect the interiors, but don't worry, we'll remove them once the construction is complete. Ah. Now, all you need to do is place both rooms on the ground. Arrange the rooms as so they fit nicely within the rope boundaries. One more thing, you can only place rooms in the roped off area. Please remove any other items before the inspection. Mm. Now, let me know when you're done so I can perform an inspection. With that, please thoroughly enjoy taking your first steps towards building your dream home. Ah, so I, there's up to 15 bits I could use. So hopefully this isn't permanent and once they're in, I'll be able to jiggle this about. So where's my... I guess I want my garden to be... So this is like my, my front door, right? So I'm going to do my front door this way. So it's like entering from like the road. I guess I'll do it a little bit. Oh, is he like following after me? Chill out, mate. I can do it. I can do it. And then I want, like, my garden to be on that side, so then I get the, the amazing views, right? So, this looks like... So this is, like, needs to attach to this side here, by the looks of it. Like that. So, right, let's have a, a look now that they're they're done. Uh, yeah, this is, this is looking okay. Like, it's... I've only got two rooms, so there's not really, um... There's not really much for me to worry about. So it just needs to be within the rope area, like that. And let's do it down on this side. And then we can keep expanding later on. Oh. Working hard, I see. What can I do for you? Nah. I'll start the inspection right away. Ah. I didn't find any problems during the inspection. You're free to go inside. Thanks, <laughs> it is my house and my land, but thanks for your permission. You're telling me that was your first time? Nice work. Your dream home is complete. At least so. Congratulations! I'll call Ronson over. Please wait here for just a moment. Oh. Sorry for the wait. How are things going? Are you happy with your investment? Of course, this is only the first step. The real building progress be uh, process begins now. <laughs> I hope you continue to explore building your dream home. After all, Hudson Construction sells a variety of room options. Speak with uh, Granson if you want to know more about them. This isn't much, but there's a little gift to help you celebrate your new dream home. A construction fabric. A tough fabric bearing the Hudson Construction design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Oh, I thought it was a thing for the house. Oh, that's cool. Just have Hudson on it. <laughs> I'll be by your side for as long as it takes to build the home of your dreams. Why don't you take a look at the inside of the rooms you placed? So, what am I going to do in order to get new homes? Hopefully it's not rupees, because as we established, I am rather poor right now. Oh, this is nice! My yellow front door, with a little heart on. And then here's my foyer, and here's my bedroom! It's weird, like, the giant, like, almost like, like they're, like, bolted to together. Uh, well, it is becoming night, so I might as well have a little sleep till morning in my own home. Where did all this, like, stuff come from, then? <laughs> Why is it full of, like, books and, like, pottery and stuff? Like, where- where are- it, whose things are these? Are these just, like, little housewarming gifts that I- I guess uh, I got? It would be, uh, it would look a little bare without them. And, oh, good, I got my teapot and my cup of tea right next to my bed, which is, uh, exactly what I would want. And, oh, is this, like, a little wash- little wash area? Oh, this is- I- you know what? I like my home. The thing it's lacking- is it any windows? <laughs> I would love it to have some windows. But to be fair, they don't really do windows in this game. I think it's probably, like, too difficult for the game to render. Like, a place, like, always open. But that's what I would like. I want windows. But I don't know if that's going to be an option. But let's speak and see what the uh, the options would be. Once again, congratulations on having that construction project done. I hope my introduction to the whole process was clear enough. After all, you have so much more to build. Maybe you'd like your house to have more of the comforts of home, or maybe some convenient features. If you want to give any of that a try, don't tarry, just talk to Granson. That's me. At Hudson Construction, we offer a variety of customization options. Just buy a new room and remodel away. 
New rooms are an investment, which is why you can preview your options so you make the choice that's right for you. Now then, do you have a construction request? Well, you're in the right place. Okay, I'll get things ready. Just a moment. Wait, how do I want to find out about the new rooms? Or, or is there going to be a new menu now? Ah. Thanks for waiting. We're all set to begin construction. Ah. If you need anything, just let me know. Yeah, well, where, where do I... How do I get the new... I want new rooms. I want new rooms. New rooms. I want new rooms. <laughs> I want new rooms. Where do I get new rooms from? I understand you said to come to you if I want anything else. You said, oh, there's all rooms for different things. But these are just the same two rooms. How do I get new rooms? I want new rooms. Right, okay, let's speak to him. Oh. I trust construction is going well. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, yes, I need new rooms. Ah. Want to change your rooms? Say no more. What can I do for you? Uh, oh, I can store rooms. I can sell rooms as well. Uh, I'll buy or preview rooms. Oh. Ah, here are the new rooms. Oh, no, they do cost rupees. Fl oh, I can get a flower bed. Garden pond. Indoor stairs. Oh, this is cool. I like a paddock. A, bl a blessing room. So I can get a goddess statue. I can't afford it, but I could. That would be nice. A kitchen. Oh, a kitchen would be handy for cooking. A gallery. I mean, I can't really afford much right now. A weapon stash room would be great. Oh, this is exciting, you know. For now, I guess I can get like a garden pond or a flower bed would be a, a good, a good option. So let's uh, let's get a garden pond. That would be nice. <laughs> ah. Right. So I don't want any other rooms. Mm. Oh, so is he going to place that down there now? And then I can rearrange it. Right, I need to save up some money. I, I need to get a whole lot of money. Because like, what I would like to do, like rather than just gradually increase stuff, I would like to come up with a plan for how I want my house to be. And then just kind of like outright, just like do it all together. So I can have it exactly as I want it. I might do the pond like attached to the house. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I was going to do it further away, but I quite like it like that. Yeah, because then I can design it exactly how I want it. Uh, right from the the start, but yeah, I need more money. I need more money. Uh, right, I'm done. Go go give the inspection. I don't know why he needs to inspect it. It's my house. What's it got to do? I guess maybe it's like building regulations. Got to make sure it's like safe for everyone. Okay, I mean to be honest, it's not really it's not my dream home yet, but it does have potential to become my dream home and that's uh that's what i'm looking forward to uh right now is this where the oh is this where the fairy fountain used to be ah i think there used to be a, a fairy fountain here i believe that like back in breath of the wild if i didn't make that clear i know there's a cork in here now instead i do still need to unlock one more of the uh the fairy fountains and there is another mission that i need to do in this area as well for um Oh, was it for was it for Rob Robbie? I think it was. Well, I can't remember who it was for, but yeah, it was uh, the thing that allows me to track down particular items. Uh, so I will do that while we're in this area. But the the last thing I want to do in today's episode is uh, yeah, I want to go do the driving. I've waited a day now, so I should be able to go and do a, another another go doing the the course. So let me get back down there. I'll put together a car, and then we'll see what the the new version of the course will be. Well, they're going to start charging an entry free? I'm trying to help them out. Why is everything so expensive all of a sudden? Uh, right, blah, blah, blah. Still, uh, we have the expert course, which I believe is worth trying, even if you do have to pay a fee. And I'll reward you if they get good data. I mean, this actually might be a good way to make some money. But I can only just about afford to do it. So, right, let's build a vehicle. Let's go for one with big wheels. I think they might be able to, like, turn a little bit sharper. And then just, let's make sure I got some rockets on it to give me that boost at the, the beginning. So, if you didn't see the last episode, basically, I build a vehicle. And I got to use the, um, that, uh, that steering stick on it. And then I basically just have to, to fly through all of, like, the, um, the, like, the check marks. Why do, why does it keep... So, I keep saying I'm game. Oh, please, uh, okay, so I, do I just say buy and then build it, and then I go and say I'm game? Okay. Okay, I put together, uh, together my car. Uh, the steering stick's slightly wonky. 
and I don't know if I'm going to be able to adjust it, so I might just leave it there. I don't think it'll make much difference. And oh, no, I got 70 rupees. It's okay. Uh, so I want to do the expert cause. Like, the car's pretty basic. I did add a rocket and some fans on it. I don't know if that's going to make... Well, I think the rocket will make a difference. I don't know if the fans will. But last one, I was able to do quite easily. So I'm not too stressed about it. Like, I feel like even if I don't do great, I'll be able to do okay. And I got three minutes for, for this course as well. So it's going to be quite a, a longer one. So my worry with the rockets is always that it boosts me too fast at the beginning and I can't turn. But it looks like... We are okay. Oh, but oh no. This car's really slow. It's really, really slow. And it's also using a huge amount of energy. You know what I think it is? I think the fans aren't boosting me at all. But they're like weighing it down a bunch. I reckon if I didn't have the fans on, I'd be able to go much quicker. But you know what? As I did say, I did do the, the other one with loads of time left to spare. So maybe... Even though this is really slow, I will be able to do it. But if I don't, I won't care because it means I'll be able to have another go and try and, like, be able to do it much faster. And I think probably if I do kind of, like, same again, but then without the, the fans. Like, I wonder what the... I wonder if there's, like, some sort of, like, motorbike thing that's, like, way lighter would be, uh, would be an easy way to do it. Anyway, actually, I've got to decide which way to go here. I think if I get this one, then go, like, hard round to the right to get that next one and then go forward and round to the, the left. I am going to run out of energy here, but you know, I actually got a chance to doing this, so I might actually use a um an energy cell here. Like, I could have put a battery on it if I knew I was going to run out. I did not think I would. I guess it makes sense because um, I've got all the fans on as well, which were just wasting a bunch of energy. So, right, let's go and use some energy cells. To, to boost up our energy. It's been a while since I've worried about running out of energy. Uh, I don't really need a big one. Oh, where are the, um... Where are the little ones? Oh, they're right here. So let's use a few of these up to about here. And that should be enough for us to do this last bit. So I'm going to loop around to the right. Then I kind of need to do a U-turn! This is a bit of a big, unwieldy thing. You know what? Slow as this thing's been... I'm actually going to do it with loads of time. Like, I've still got now half my time left. So I think they're just really generous with the time, which I'm glad. So I want to get my money back. And there's a new record. It's a rubbish record, but it's the, the best I've done, I guess. <laughs> Congratulations! I can't believe you cleared the expert course. I should have expected as much from a Vo Tally respects. Here, please. I want you to have this memento for beating the expert course for the first time. Oh, brilliant. Wouldn't it be funny if I use one of those and then that's just what I get back? What are you going to do now? Feel like giving it another go? Uh, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Maybe I'll come back another time and see if I beat the record again, if I'll get some more rupees. But I think I need to think of a more inventive design. Maybe if you can think of a better design, I mean, apart from removing the fans of this one, let me know. I mean, more rockets? Is that just an obvious winner? Maybe some sort of motorbike? Or even, like, one of those, like, hover bikes that everyone does, where it's just, like, steering sticks and fans, and people use them to, to glide around the, the place? Like, even if it's just one of them, maybe that's what I uh, I should uh, end up doing. Uh, anyway, though, uh, that is going to be the, uh, the end of this episode here. Uh, in the next episode, I'll do what I mentioned. I'll go and try and carry on doing that quest uh, to get the new ability with my Pora pad. And then just have a look around this area as well, because there's uh, a bunch of shrines and stuff just in this whole region that I haven't done yet. So it'd be good to go and uh, try and check out some of those. And then maybe get some more money so I can continue to uh, work on my dream house. Anyway, this was a fun episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. New one will be up very, very soon. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!